after the first video, I was wondering what I can do for the next video. I only have 5 subscribers, but I wanted to entertain them to show appreciation. Then I decided to stick around with DIY and came up with an idea to build a small PC speaker. So I got the cheap speaker that was cosmetically destroyed. It's cheap edifier ones, around $20, and I will basically remake this unit. Just so you know, if you are looking for an audio file quality build, this is not the video for you. It's supposed to be cosmetically destroyed by someone I know of. But I had to fix some circuit as well. It seems like they work fine now, though later on I actually replaced the amp unit because it heated up like crazy. Let's get on to the woodworking. I used two of three feet half an inch by four inch poplar board, which is just like $6.50 each and cut them in the lengths I needed. For the DIY beginner like me, Poplar is good because of its price and easiness of handling. Then I made grooves for joints and trimmed the edges by a router. You can actually do them with hand tools too, which I will try later on. And then I did bevel cuts for mitre joints. I really suck at it and I've never been successful with it, but anyway, it's always good to try, right? Like I said, I'm making the grooves with hand tools. This is basically because I need more experience of more techniques. And it's just like a chisel practice for future projects. I kind of like doing it though. Then I dry fit the framework. Some pieces were a little too loose, but it's alright. Now you know I'm making a sound bar, and I need to cut out the front board for speaker mount. So this jig was my investment for this video. It's so easy to make a circle cut, but it's kinda messy with corded router. Then I trimmed the edges to make it cool, like this. Now I'm coming back to fabricate with hand tools to make kumiko. Unlike the last video where I used a cheap hacksaw, I'm using a fine hobby saw. It's only like $10, but it makes so much difference in accuracy. Look at them. And yes, like I also mentioned in the last video, I'm using the basswood strips that I bought for 50 cents per piece during the labor they sell at Michael's instead of the popsicle sticks. It also makes things so much easier to fabricate, so I wanted to try a little more difficult stuff at this time, which is the one called Mitsukude pattern, I guess. Basically, I'm making a bunch of triangular pieces to form a hexagonal shapes by these strips. I was actually telling myself don't get bored doing this or it will be off the accuracy. So far, looks like I'm doing well, but now I have to adjust the joint parts for Mitsukude. It seems like I somehow made it. See? Hopefully, they'll fit without an issue. Let's fast forward to see how it goes. I see minor gaps here and there, but I'll just leave them because I'm not sure if I can make real snug fit ones even if I make them over. Then these are all pieces I fabricated, and it's time to glue them together. 
I let them dry overnight. As I expected, the mitre joints weren't good. So I'm trying the technique I just learned from YouTube. Put glue in the gap, burnish it with a screwdriver, and then sand it. It worked, so I can put the stain and the oil. You can actually see the Kumiko pieces on the top right. I trimmed them to finish while waiting for the stain to dry. And let's assemble the rest of the pieces. Wait, like I said, the amp gets heated, so I had to buy this small amp. But the volume knob didn't want to fit in the wood thickness, so I had to redesign it with this thin metal piece. This metal piece is from the inside of an old internet router. It works now. Then I used caulking to seal every joint by my most handy tool. Yes, handy. And I put the passive radiators. Hmm. Perfect positioning. Of course, I mounted the speakers too. It's almost there. I just need to place the amp and secure it with screws. And then I put cushion filling for sound damping. And finally, I can close the box. But yeah, since there is a tiny gap, I put the sealant around the joint. It's still openable if I want so. Oh, I trimmed the edge of the backboard so I can put good enough amount of the sealant. Anyways, someone stupidly touched my beautiful sealant. And then I put the legs and hot glue the Kumiko grills. And this is the last mission. Here's my new PC speaker. It came out to be way better than I expected. I don't have professional recording tools, but let's listen to it. It's okay for occasional use, but definitely missing bass. Hopefully, when the passive radiator aging is done, it will be improved. Anyways, if I knew I can finish my build with this quality, I would have invested a little more to buy better speakers and amp. But oh well, I wasn't sure about my skill at the beginning. I'm just happy that I at least improved the quality of finishing product from the last video or it could have been just like uh, I used more proper tools, but anyways, experience I gained from the last project helped a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I would be happy if you liked the video and more happy if you subscribe to this channel. See you!